Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics. Talk about adiabatic system. As I already told, adiabatic wall is wall where uh, through which you can't uh, transfer the heat or tr transfer the energy and the matter between the surrounding and the system. So adiabatic system is nothing but a system where it which does not allow, this does not allow, we have explained this, I think it's a closed system actually, it's nothing but a closed system which does not allow the exchange of heat between the system and the surrounding. And this boundary is called adiabatic and as I told adiabatic process is a process where there is no transfer of heat between the system and the surrounding. So I just want to uh, tell you that adiabatic and isothermal are two different things. So if you see adiabatic is an adiaba uh, adiabatic and isothermal are two different things. In adiabatic there is no exchange of heat, it is all totally isolated. In isothermal we maintain same temperature. T is constant. Temperature has to be constant. Maybe you have to supply extra heat also if required. The temperature has to be constant. That is isothermal. Adiabatic is totally isolated system where you don't transfer any heat to the system or uh, heat is transferred from the system. So as I told the internal energy change it can be done by either work done on the system or by system or the heat transfer as I, as I told that. And also internal energy change is a constant volume thing. So since it is constant volume is a critical concept I have again put it here. Just to remind you that when you talk about internal energy change, you talk about constant volume. So let's, let's discuss the first method where we talk about internal energy change by work. So let's take adiabatic system to uh, the uh, on safe side. So and that's why I discussed the adiabatic system in the last slide. So th there are various ways to change the internal energy of the system by doing work. The first can be you churn this, you add, you churn it, you churn it actually using something, it's closed system, you churn it with some mechanical thing. I'll show you one device actually which uh, scientists are using, you can just churn it. If you churn this, you're doing some mechanical work and that mechanical work will be converted into heat energy, sorry internal energy or you heat this with the rod, so you put some internal rod here. You put some internal rod here and you heat this with some internal rod. That's the electric energy. In first case, you are churning it. Let's suppose you are churning it. Second case, you are putting some heat energy. Or what you can do is you can put some uh, chemicals here which react and form heat. So you can see if you want to change the internal energy of this kind of system where the volume is constant, you can do it by Three, you can do one more also. I can think of only three ways now. Maybe you can think of more ways. You can either churn this, you can do some mechanical energy on this. Uh, you can heat it, you pass some electrical energy. You can do some chemical reaction, that means chemical energy. So in all these cases, the internal energy of the system will change. We'll have some internal energy change. Okay. And since this is an adiabatic thing, there is no heat transfer, there is no heat transfer from outside to system or system to surround. There is no heat transfer, there is no heat transfer. So my change in internal energy will be nothing but the work done adiabatic, whether you did the work by churning, you heating, you use some chemical reaction, you mix it. All this adiabatic work is nothing but my change in internal energy. This is what I think. Is it possible? I'm just telling you. Can you believe me? You have to. Why? Because a scientist has done this. So James Prescott Joule, the Joule word came from here only. A very famous scientist, very rich guy actually. He was owning a beer brewing, brewing a factory. Very rich guy. He did this experiment, His, he was able to show 
the, the given amount of work done on system, no matter how it is done, you churn it, you uh, put some rod, you do some chemical reaction, it doesn't matter how you do the work on the system, it produces the same change of state. And that state of change he measured using temperature change. It is very difficult to change the at that point of time to find all the internal change. He did focus only on the, the temperature change uh, to focus the internal. And what he did was he had this uh, again the adiabatic uh, instrument and he had this churning device, right? This is churning device and tied to a thread and it is rotated like this. So what happens is if you uh, put a mass here, the mass falls down. There is a change in potential energy of this mass. And this potential energy of this uh, this potential energy change, that suppose the height h mgh, is transferred using this uh, thread. It churns it. It churns this. It produces some. Um, I mean, there's a mechanical energy is transferred, and this increase the energy of this system. It's closed. Please note the constant volume. And there's a thermometer attached. And with this, he was able to see a change in temperature. And he did it using a lot of other ways. Maybe he uh, he tried uh, the like heater, or he tried uh, he tried various options. Actually, he tried three different ways. Uh, I believe he tried the heater approach. He tried uh, the this this approach. He tried the more approach. And he he saw in all these cases the change in internal energy is same. It doesn't matter which path. For although his uh, uh, um, experiments were not accepted that time. But uh, later on, it was accepted, and uh, we found that whatever he, he uh, observed was true. So that means whichever path you follow doesn't matter, and that's why if you see the work done is by path function, depending on the path. But the change in internal energy is not a path function because this guy himself has proved that you ch you want to change the internal energy, you can change by various paths. Heat it with the rod, you churn it, you do some chemical reaction. The change in internal energy is same implies that work done by all these things are same okay so that's what uh, the uh, jewel has done james prescott jewel he has shown that no matter which path you follow if the work done on the system is same it will have same internal energy change I explained this again uh, earlier. Also, I'll explain once again the sign condition of internal energy. So it is positive if uh, the work done is is on the system. That means system uh, you do work on the system, and the system gets energy, right? You do, you're doing some work on the system. System becomes pressure, and the delta U is positive. If system is doing some work, system is becoming weak. System is losing energy, right? If work is done by system, the Delta U is negative. Okay. If system is doing some work, system is becoming weak, so the change in energy is negative. If people are doing work on the system, system is becoming richer, and delta U is positive. Let me talk about various units of work. So in CGS unit, the work is expressed in ERGS ergs. In SI unit, it is in joules, and one joule is 10 to the power 7 ergs. And it's also in a uh, lot of mathematical problems, we'll see that uh, we'll have something uh, volume. We, we talk about work is nothing but P delta V, we'll have this formula pressure in delta volume. So the pressure will be in atmospheric in the pressure ATM and the volume will be in liter. So we'll get something liter at ATM. And you want to convert into joule, you see that one liter ATM is nothing but 101.3 joule. And if the pressure is in bar, then you get something called liter bar. And then you will see that one liter bar is 100 joules. So we'll use this, uh, these two, uh, in fact, these two generally for uh, numericals. But generally we'll try to uh, convert this work into joules. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.